Hey, I'm Shannon, and this is a video on how to make a vegan garbage plate. It consists of macaroni salad, breakfast potatoes, a meat sauce, two smash burgers with cheese, covered in ketchup and mustard, and then mixed all together. Macaroni is done. It is still pretty hot. Um, you want to wait for it to cool down, um, just because if you put it immediately in your fridge, it'll make your fridge too hot. This is the dressing that I'll mix with the macaroni and the vegetables. So this is some mayo, some pickle juice, some Dijon mustard, and then salt and pepper. And then this is a quarter of an onion, about four small pickles, and then two to three stalks of celery. So this is part one done. While the macaroni salad is cooling, the next thing we're going to do is chop up some potatoes. I got three small potatoes. They're washed, by the way. I'm actually going to show you the difference between these two knives because this was the original knife that I was using to cut potatoes, and then I got this knife for Christmas, and I realized how much easier it is to use this kind of knife to cut potatoes. So I'll show you how difficult it is. You really have to like saw through it. It makes it kind of difficult. And this knife is overall pretty bendy, so it's not the most stable. And then I got this knife, and it's so much easier to cut through. That's it. So if you have a better knife, use it for potatoes. I have some oil heating up in a pan right here for the potatoes. Um, even though you have more than one potato, you could have two or three, you only wanna chop one at a time. They get a little pink when they um, are exposed to oxygen for too long. So just do one at a time. You really can only fit one potato in the pan at a time anyways. There's no point in chopping them all up. Um, so when these are in the pan and they're like starting to cook, you can start chopping the next potato. I also want to mention that I have a quarter of an onion right here. Um, if you want to caramelize onions and add it to your potatoes, that's fine, you can do that. Um, so with the macaroni salad, it was a quarter of an onion. This is another quarter of an onion, so that makes a half. And the macaroni salad, originally, the recipe asked for a red onion. It does make it look a little bit more pretty, but um, the red onion doesn't go very well with potatoes if you caramelize them. I call them breakfast potatoes. That's what I grew up with calling them. I know people who call them home fries. It's not home fries, it's breakfast potatoes. I'm gonna explain why. This is not the shape of a fry. Therefore, it is wrong to call them home fries. Breakfast potatoes, everyone. So the potatoes are done. This is what they look like. It should look a little bit more than this. That's because I ate some while I was cooking them. I was getting hungry. So right now we're on to part three, which is the meat sauce. So I'm just frying up um, the other half, the last half of that onion. And then I will add a can of tomato paste. This is six ounces. And then this package of Morningstar beef crumbles. These are vegan because this is a vegan recipe. This is the meat sauce. It's all done. Um, that's it for part three. The part four is the Beyond Burgers. It comes in a pack of two. But what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to use one patty and make two of them. So we'll end up with four patties. They're gonna be a lot thinner. So this is half of a burger. So this is how you make a smash burger. So you're gonna put it down. And then ideally you would want a spatula that doesn't have these things. I don't, so some might come up like through this, but it's okay. So you're gonna just press it down. You gotta somehow get it off. This you'll just keep pressing it. And I melted some Daya American style cheese on top. So I will assemble it all together. The final result. And then you mix it all together. This is a garbage plate, it's vegan, and it tastes great. And I think you should make it too.